Senor Briscoe, it's good to see you again. Thank you, Captain. Although, to be honest, I didn't expect you to return after hearing about the fire at your house. Once we managed to put out the fire, the damage was superficial. I've already arranged the repairs. But the reason I'm here is Elizabeth. She threw me out. <laughs> She's mad at you for not telling her about the quest, the danger she was in, the fire. She didn't care about any of those things. But if I don't find her jewelry, she'll never allow me in the house again. But it's your house. Morgane, the ways of married couples are complex and mysterious. <laughs> Briscoe has a strange relationship with his wife. Senor Briscoe? Yes? How is Elizabeth after her ordeal? She's doing remarkably well. She's already talking about redecorating the whole house. She's not staying there while you're away, surely? No, I've arranged for her to stay with friends until I return. They must be very good friends. Do you have any other information about Tanner? Anything you didn't mention before? Uh, I'm not aware of missing anything. Papa confuses me at times with his attitude towards our old home. Papa? Let us talk later, Morgan. Papa created this shrine in honor of Mama. I have a few more things to do here before I can leave. We are currently on Bounty Island, which was once my home. I've always been intrigued by this puppet, even though it gives me the creeps. Last time I touched it, it took me two days to untangle its threads. Papa has the best cabin on this ship. Well, he is captain after all. I'm not that tired. I was there when father killed the giant sea snake. <laughs> what an epic battle. There's no way I'll touch that. I hate stuffed animals. Papa? Let us talk later, Morgan. Senor Briscoe? Yes? I like to look at Mama's picture, but Dad would be so upset if I touched it. I took this sketch map from Arno when I caught him. He took it from your desk. How astonishing. Fancy me forgetting something like this. Now I've seen it again. I remember finding it years ago. I must have put it in my desk and simply forgotten about it. Do you know where the island is? Not yet. But once I consult the charts, it will be easy to locate.
Papa, I found this map in Tanner's statue. Do you know the island? Oh. I've never seen it on any chart in all my years at sea. Unless you find the coordinates of the island, we could never discover its whereabouts. I have some money, Papa. Pay me back when you have enough to cover the debt. I have a few more things to do here before I can leave. Senor Brisco? Yes? Papa? Let us talk later, Morgan. I wonder what would happen if I orientated to match up the known landmarks. That's it! Look! Tanner Island is just there! Well done, Morgan. Can we set sail for there immediately? Of course. Then I shall rest in my cabin until we arrive. The excitement of today has exhausted me. Papa? Yes, Morgane? Papa, you must come with me to the old house. It's Mama. Now you're taunting me. Do you not care about your father's feelings? Of course! That's exactly why it's important for you to come. You handled that well, Morgane. Diego? Yes. Papa? Yes, Morgane. Father, will you please come with me to the old house? Will you stop asking me about it? I can't believe you won't do as I ask. If you weren't my daughter, I... Sorry, Papa. I'll get the crew to set sail for Tanner Island. Where do you want to go? Let's sail away. We shall sail to Tanner Island immediately. Excuse me, Captain Morgane. I shall join you in your trip ashore. You think that's wise? An island named after Bucklebury Tanner? I'll not miss this for anything. We need to find our way to the cliff top first. This is the first time I've seen stone pillars jutting out of the ocean like that. They appear to be connected by rope bridges. Perhaps I can find a bridge that will reach these pillars.
It's the wreck of a small boat? Hmm. The constant battering of the waves must have smashed it against the cliff. No. Who'd want a sunken boat? The waves keep pushing the planks against the cliff. I can't lean out far enough to reach them. This peg is loose. I can pull it free. I'm always amazed when I see plants growing in such isolated places. There's something in here. I wonder how long that anchor has been here. It probably belonged to the sunken boat. It feels like it's glued to the rock. It must be the rust. There's some kind of platform up there. I can't reach it from here. These iron rings are rusty from the sea spray. I wonder what they were used for. They can't be removed from the cliff. They're attached too securely. Senor Briscoe? Yes? Could you help me with that anchor? It's stuck fast. I think not, Captain. Don't you have crew members who can help you out? <laughs> of course. That's no good. I need some kind of hook on the end. Where do you want to go? 